What's going on guys? Pumper Billy here. It's been a while. I know. It's been like a month almost or over a month since I've actually made a video for my channel, but here alas, it is it is complete. It is done. I am playing Door Kickers, which is this top down strategy slash planning slash real time game that's actually really, really fun and addicting. I first heard about this on the Takedown Forums, which is another game I am extremely looking forward to. Like it's the game I'm probably the most excited for this year, hands down. A true tactical shooter, okay. like the old Rainbow Six games, the old Ghost Recon games, like way back, like, you know, the tributes to those tactical games, like Swap 4 and stuff like that, which is funny, because in my last video that I actually talked about when I was playing Rainbow Six, I was talking about how there was a lack of real tactical shooters in this current generation of gaming, and I was talking about how I wanted a game like Rainbow Six, the good old Rainbow Six games, not Vegas, Vegas is kind of action, I'm talking like actual tactical hardcore, like... There is no room for fucking up type games like SWAT 4 and the past Rainbow Six games like Raven Shield. I even bought Raven Shield again, Gold Edition on Steam, just so I can play it, and it's fucking amazing. And literally that night, I found Takedown, and I was just like super pumped for this game ever since I've been reading up on it. And a very and even the E3 press coverage as of late was absolutely phenomenal. The game looks so good. It's like a vivid, colorful, beautiful world of like realistic modern environments and you're going in there with like modern technology and real tactics and you're doing things that would actually be involved to survive it's a very hardcore brutal game because you're not gonna be able to just go in there and be like all right i'm gonna you know slaughter everybody like call of duty style and just run around and slaughter everybody or even battlefield or even like the rainbow six vegas games like they're not really tactical they're tactical but they're not like no, well, not tactical. Rainbow Six Vegas is somewhat tactical, but compared to the traditional hardcore, no BS first person shooters where it's like you need to plan your attacks, kind of what you're seeing here, this is kind of like the planning phase of Rainbow Six Raven Shield put into a game where you're not playing first person at all. You're just planning out your movement and stuff like that, but it does act kind of real time ish. That's kind of what Door Kickers is like, whereas the new games, or the new takedown game, is actually going to go back to the traditional hardcore where it's like there's no checkpoints there's no saving you go into a mission you got to complete it and there's no room for fucking up if you fuck up there's a severe consequence of either getting killed or having teammates killed or incapacitated and therefore it completely hinders the rest of your operation which is very realistic and i'm super pumped and the fact that actual military personnel some guys uh christian allen the main guy that's behind this game has past military experience which is great i mean i have military experience as many of you guys may know in fact actually at the end of this week on saturday or on sunday i'm going to be leaving for two months i'll get to that in a, later in the video explaining that and basically they these guys are actually like a lot of them are old school gamers that have worked like at red storm and other companies you got people from monolith that made the fear series uh you got people from all over the place that are making takedown which is going to be Phenomenal. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great and it's going to be fun. Another thing on the agenda is the laser eye surgery, which I had. I remember I said this in a, I tweeted on the, on the Twits, the Twitter. I explained how I was going to basically explain my story, my days post op, how it went. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that right now, but because uh, I'm running out of time, kind of, and I kind of want to talk about other things. So I guess I'll save that when I come back. Or maybe I'll upload another video sometime this week if I have time. No promises, but if I can do that, then yeah, I'll talk about it. Because, I mean, it's pretty it's pretty radical, actually. Like, I had laser eye surgery, like, on May 29th, and it's, like, the third week. I mean, if I look at the calendar, it's been, yeah, it's been almost three weeks now. And it's, it's, it's going pretty good. I mean, I'm able to play video games again. I mean, I still have double vision ghosting, which is basically, like, you'll see a faded... How to explain it. If, you're, if you have text, you know, like, you're, you're reading a paragraph or something, then, like, every letter will have, like, a slightly faded version, like, a shadow, basically, behind it and to the left and up. So it's kind of, like, slightly double vision, but it's, like, it's, it, it'll eventually go away. It's natural. Apparently, this is completely normal in the healing, healing process, and hopefully this will go away soon, because it's starting to get fucking annoying. Not gonna lie, like it was, it's pretty bad. And my vision's been like fluctuating like crazy. I mean, when I have the first four days of post op, and I go in and check in, and like mate, they'd put like freezing drops in my eyes because I could barely even open my eyes, and I'd be like reading like the letters. I'd be getting them right, and then suddenly I'd go for my two week checkup at my local 
uh, optometrist and I couldn't read shit from my left eye, but my right eye could read stuff and my left eye was like, hell no. And I had slight astigmatism in my left eye, which I've never had before, but you know, that's the healing, the cornea reshaping itself because I just got zapped by high powerful lasers and shit. It's pretty cool. But anyway, I want to cover the last part of this video with what I want to talk about, which is the fact that I'm leaving for two months. Now, I've said this before prior, I was like, the reason why I am having a regular upload schedule is not stuff is because I've been gone, just working, working out, and trying to prepare for this course. And basically what's going to happen, I'm going to be leaving for two months to go to LFCATC Meaford, then where happiness goes to die in Canada for some training and infantry stuff. So I'll basically be doing what you see in this game, IRL. Hells yeah, motherfucker, and it's going to be great. It's going to suck at the same time, but hey, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. I'm making some, some good money, and then... I'm gonna come back and resume YouTube at its full capacity like I used to, hopefully, if I have time for that. So, I will be tweeting periodically when I'm out there, like, training and stuff. So, follow me on Twitter. I know, like, I have a Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. You can't miss it. It's on my channel description. It's fucking everywhere on my channel. You can even read the description of this video, and you'll see it there. And basically, it's like, you know, you'll see a picture of me in my fucking combat uniform with a light machine gun on shit. And you'll know it's me. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.